Hey guys, it's Kim Dao here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. I am currently in Singapore, just transiting to go back to Australia. It's currently, it is currently 5 a.m. So I have another two and a half hours before I have to go on to my next flight. Guys, I am back home now in Australia. It's the next day. It feels so good to be back. Because I arrived yesterday, I started to unpack my bag, which actually is a big deal because usually I don't unpack until I have to travel again. But because this apartment is small, I can't just leave my suitcase lying around like this. So yeah, I thought that we'll just unpack my suitcase together. I have taken out some of the stuff like dirty clothes to put into the wash and yeah, just random bits and pieces, but I kept pretty much all of my shopping inside the suitcase though most of my shopping I shipped back so I should be receiving that hopefully by the end of this week and also as you guys can see on my right I have a mountain of packages to go through I left Australia at the start of December to go to Korea for vlogmas so this is like five weeks worth of PR packages that I have to open up so I thought that I would open them up with you guys because last time I did that it looks like you guys really enjoyed me opening up my packages and showing you guys what I got so let's start off with my suitcase so down here I have a bunch of snacks and this is all for my sister because she asked me to bring back some Japanese snacks for her so I just bought a bag full of stuff and then I got her these butter beer drops that I got at USJ. I got some clothes that I vacuum sealed and these are just my bottoms. So whenever I travel, I always make sure to vacuum seal my clothes because it saves so much space. I've got quite a lot of skirts with me. And then this one. And then I got this fragrance from Frank Frank. I love these so much. I'm gonna open it up now and put it into my bathroom. Isn't that so pretty? I got this because it was on sale, but also it kind of reminds me of Chanel and I love Chanel. So yay, it looks so pretty. And it was cheap as well. It was like, I think I paid $15 for this. I also bought a Polaroid camera in Don Quixote in Japan. Now I got this because I wanted a Polaroid camera for my wedding, which is still a year away. So I'm still very early, but I bought a bunch of film as well because it's cheaper to buy the film in Japan compared to Australia. For the wedding what I want to do is I want people to take like selfies with the Polaroid camera and then I want them to stick it inside a guest book and write a little message. So I got a lot of boxes of the film. Now okay the film says you have to use it by October 2020 which is fine because the wedding is early next year. I have my Pokemon socks. I love these so much. They're so cute. They match with my pajamas, which is actually in the wash right now because I wore them so much. My Harry Potter Ravenclaw headband I got at USJ. Maybe I'm not wearing it properly. My hair's sticking up now. Why is it doing that? There we go. I don't know. It's just not really my style. But the reason why I got it was because of this bow. It came in a set and I wore the bow with a ponytail at the back. It looks so cute. My earrings, which I got in Korea, they were actually safe. So I was a bit worried that this would break because there's actually water inside here. But no, it made it back fine. Oops. That's the other pair. <laughs> More clothes. Now, most of these are blouses that I got in Korea. But as you can see, guys, I vacuum sealed them. So... It just saves a lot of space that I can put more into my suitcase. So just once I open it up, yeah, you can see I've put in a lot. Pretty much all of these need to go into the wash. So I have to hand wash a lot of these. So I'm going to do that after I finish filming. Curler, a few things at Daiso. Some makeup I got in Korea. So I'm going to film a video with these which I will aim to do hopefully next week because I have to set up my new filming area. I actually am going to show you what I got for my filming area. So. 
stay tuned. Dry shampoo. I usually carry one of these around with me because I find that in Asia, the dry shampoo isn't that good. I also got these Acro Pass Trouble Cure patches, which I got in Korea. These are amazing. If you have pimples, it disappears after a day if you wear these. More makeup, which I got in Japan and filmed for a video. Though I'm not happy with the video, so I will refilm the video hopefully next week. Tripod thing for my camera. Um, oh, more Daiso stuff, which I'll leave over there to film with. Makeup removal wipes, heat packs, a sponge that I took in a hotel. My house keys, camera charger. This is my accessories bag. So I've got my hair ties, earrings, etc. inside here. More chargers, heat pack, and an eyeshadow brush. So, oh yeah, my makeup is just all out here because I was doing my makeup earlier. But yeah, um, that is everything inside my suitcase done. Like I said before, I did unpack a lot of my stuff yesterday. So yeah, let's just put that to the side. Now let's go through my mountain of packages. Guys, look at this. It's crazy. So, okay, most of these are PR packages. Some of them are Yes Style packages and one of them, the biggest one, right at the bottom. That's an order I made for my filming setup, which I will show you guys in a bit. So, first off, let's open up this. I just received this this morning, actually. This is from my agency, Max Connectors. Ooh. It's from Ferragamo. Oh, wow edition holiday collection. I can't wait to try these out. Thank you so much Ferragamo. Next box is from Max Connectors once again. So actually I'm going to open up all the packages from Max Connectors first. So this video kind of makes a bit more sense. I think I know what this is. It's something else from Salvatore Ferragamo and this is their bag. Oh, I can't wait to open it up. Oh, it's pretty. I love how it matches the perfume. This one here, oh, you have to push it to open it. When I was shopping around in the airport, I was looking for a bag just like this because I want a small black bag that can fit in a bit more than my current bags I've got. I'm gonna open this part up as well. So this one here is the Ginny Letter Bow Show Bag. I love the length of it. Oh, it's so nice. And because it's black, it can go with so many outfits. So thank you so much, Ferragamo. I love it. Got another box from Max Connectors. So, oh, there's like a few packages in here. Oh, is this Kat Von D? I've never tried out any of her products before, so I am really excited. Got the Everlasting Lip Liner. Perfect. I need more lip liners. I got them in two colors, Misfit and Lolita. Then I got the Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick in Vampira. Looks like a very deep red, but almost purple. The Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in, ooh, Roxy. That's a color I don't know if I can pull off because I'm very safe with my makeup. When I do my makeup, I just stick to, you know, the very basic stuff. I am not very adventurous, but this year, new year, new me, maybe I can try and be a bit more adventurous with my makeup. Then I got the color Noble, which I think is a lot safer, something I would definitely use. Next is from Bobbi Brown. Oh, I'm excited, I love Bobbi Brown. So guys, I don't know if you noticed, but last year I started using a lot more Western brands because before I used to only use Asian brands because I felt like it worked better for my skin. But last year I have been receiving more PR packages from Western brands. I find that for Western brands, they do foundations, eyeshadows especially, eyebrow products, highlight and contouring very well. Whereas Asian makeup, I prefer them for mascaras, for blush, for lip products. So anyway, I'm gonna open up the Bobbi Brown one to see what I got. I'm just gonna rip it. <laughs> got the Primer Plus Mattifier, and then I got the Primer Plus Hydrating 3-in-1 Setting Spray. Yay! So happy with the setting spray because mine expired, so I have a new one to use now. So important for me to keep my skin hydrated now because I'm back in Australia and the air is really dry here. Alright, last product from Bobbi Brown. Ooh, is this a palette? Oh, yes, this is the Bronze Nudes Edition from Bobbi Brown. That is so pretty. These are the colors I use daily for my makeup. Thank you so much Bobbi Brown. Next we have a package from Clinique. This is it. 
The box is so fancy. Ooh. Wait, isn't this... Yeah, this is a hydrating jelly. I've been seeing this around on Instagram and I've been dying to try it because their moisturizer, guys, is amazing. I love the packaging of this too. It's so extra. Wait, I just saw this. It says that it lights up. Wait, what? There's a switch underneath. Whoa! Alright, this is totally extra. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is amazing. I'm going to keep this because I can use this for something. This packaging. Oh, it's so cool. Speaking of Clinique, they actually sent me another package which I'll open up now because I just showed you guys the hydrating jelly. This is such a cute bag. I can use this when I go to the beach. Oh, oh, I think it's a Christmas present. Yeah, so I wasn't in Australia for Christmas, so I guess a lot of these companies are sending me stuff for Christmas. Thank you for all your support this year. We so appreciate it. Have the most wonderful 2019, and we can't wait to work with you again. Oh, thank you so much, Clinique Australia. That is so sweet of them. Oh, look, it's got my name on it too. This is perfect, yes. This Clinique Take the Day Off amazing stuff. I have the full size one and I finished it up within like two months. I actually got a few of my friends to get it as well because it works so well. It just melts your makeup off. It's really gentle and great for sensitive skin. I got the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. Look at how small it is. Pep Start Pout Restoring Night Mask. And then I have a sleeping mask. This is their nighttime TLC package. Love, 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 love. And the bag as well. I'm definitely going to use this as like a beach bag. And because guys, it's summer now in Australia, I can finally go to the beach. Because in Japan, it was so cold. So it's kind of weird to come back to the warm weather again. I have two more from that Big Max Connectors box. Whoa, what is this? Look at this. Oh my gosh. I have to be careful because when I open this, it's going to go everywhere. I got a bunch of their New Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. And I got them in a bunch of different shades as well. Number one concealer in Australia. I am so excited to try this out. Thank you so much, Maybelline. I love the packaging. Now we have one more package from Max Connectors. Oh, face masks. This is from Garnier. The Garnier Skin Active Fresh Mixed Tissue Mask. This is kind of cool because you've got the dry face mask here and the liquid part is separate. I love face masks. I can never get enough of them. So I'm very excited to try these out. Thank you, Garnier. Next, I got a package from Tarte. So Tarte, I met them when I was in Sydney for Max Institute, one of the Max Connectors events. So yeah, I got in contact with them and then they told me that they would send me a package. So it's finally here. I love how these are packaged. So nice. Oh. Tarte, Australian Tartlets. Shape tape is here. Here it is, and it's got my name on it too, so I believe these are my shades. Whoa! I have three of the Shape Tape Contour Concealer, and then this is the Shape Tape Pore and Prime Balm. Blending sponge, Face Tape Hydrating Primer. Oh, I love this packaging. Shape Tape Setting Powder. And then this is the Setting Super Power Powder Brush. It's pink and it's so soft, guys. This is the last of the PR packages, finally. This one is from Too Faced. Guys, I absolutely love Too Faced's PR packages because they put in so much effort and their products are really good. Hope you enjoy our new Pretty Rich collection. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to try their new collection. They pretty much sent me their whole collection. Collection. I am so excited, especially these. These highlighters, I love Too Faced highlighters and their bronzers are really good. Let me just open it up. Ooh, okay, here it is. Yes, that's pretty. Got it in Fancy Pink Diamond. I also got Canary Diamond. I don't know if I would use this one. It's just a bit too white for me. But um, definitely this one, the first one I got, Fancy Pink Diamond, I will use that one. So guys, um, of course I can't use every single product in the PR packages because it's just way too many products, right? Usually what I do is that I keep the ones that I want, obviously, and then the ones that I don't want, either I'll give it away to friends or I'll just donate them to charity. Too Faced Glow Job, Radiance Boosting Glitter Face Mask. It smells really good. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. It's like... 
It looks like slime. Too Faced Diamond Light Highlighting Brush. Ah, it's pink as well. Better than Sex and Diamonds Limited Edition. Guys, I love Too Faced eyeshadows. I've been using them for years. Like, this one I've been using for two years now. I use it almost daily. I have all the other palettes. It's just such good quality. So even though it is quite big, I still bring them every single time I travel. So, oh, this one. <gasps> That is so glittery! Look at that! I'm so curious with Diamond Glitterati. I'm gonna swatch that right now for you guys. Look at that! Whoa! That is perfect as like a final touch to your eye makeup. Finally, I have the Rich Dazzling High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. Actually, the packaging reminds me of Edgy House in a way. I'm going to try Social Butterfly on my lips now. go just a nice touch to your lips if you want that shine oh so happy with all this thank you so much Too Faced these two boxes are yes style boxes which I won't open because I want to film a haul video on my main channel with them so if I open them up it's gonna spoil the video this box here is actually mine I shipped it back to Australia from Japan when I first arrived because my bag was so heavy guys I kind of forgot what I put in here the problem is I always overpack when I travel a shirt that I bought over from Australia, which I never wore. Again, um, this oh, this is a present for my friend. So she asked me to buy her this Harry Potter sweater with the Deathly Hallows symbol on it. So I just shipped that back so I don't have to carry it around. Also got some Dobby socks because my friend wanted those ones as well. More tape for bouldering. So guys, I keep forgetting to bring my tape every time I go bouldering. So I've got like three of these. In Australia, I have like my own bouldering bags. I don't forget them. But in Japan, I kept forgetting to bring them. These are all sweaters, I think, yeah. That's my sweater. This is, yeah. These are all old clothes. Nothing's new here. Oh, except for, except for this dress that I got in Korea. Everything else in here is like all my old clothes. Um, old blouse. The blouse that I got in Korea is from the brand Sundays that I got obsessed with because oh, it's just so pretty. This one is also a blouse from Some Days. That is everything in the box I shipped to myself so that's not as exciting. This one guys, I'm so excited to open this because it's for my filming setup. It looks like it's going to be hard to open so yeah, let me just attempt to open it by myself first. After about 10 minutes, I finally got it open and this is it. It's a flower wall which I have to put together myself but I've always wanted a flower wall ever since I went into this Korean cafe in Seoul. It was called Ariate I think and they had this really beautiful wall of flowers. My original plan was to make my own wall of flowers by going to Daiso and buying individually all of these fake flowers but then I thought that would take way too much time. I don't know exactly where I'm going to put this but I kind of want to bring it around with me so I might just tie them together and then when I need the flowers I'll take them out so I might leave it in my storage for now but I am so excited to use this it's so pretty. I'm going to end this video here now so thank you so much guys for watching now that I'm back in Australia I would try my best to film more vlogs here so I have decided for this year I am going to upload twice a week on this channel last year I never really vlogged in Australia but this year I will do my best to do so so even if I don't have a vlog to upload I might just do quick Q&A's here and there so at least that way I will have more content coming for you guys on this channel but once again thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys